British model and actress Catherine Romari Beckinsale was born on the 26th of July, 1973, in Finsbury Park, London, to parents who were both actors, Jody Lowe and Richard Beckinsale. Kate is known particularly through her appearances in such movies as Broke Down Palace, in which she played Darlene Davis, Laurel Canyon, performing as Alex, and many others, such as Click, The Last Days of Disco, Serendipity, Pearl Harbor, and The Aviator. So, just how rich is Kate Beckinsale as of late 2017? Celebrity.money estimates that Kate has been able to accumulate an estimated net worth of over $16 million during her career, which began in the early 1990s. Following her parents, although her father died after a heart attack when she was just five, Kate also decided to try for a career and so earn her net worth in acting. She played in several movies, but initially her roles were actually minor, until in 1993, she had her first serious role in Kenneth Brong's production, Much Ado About Nothing, another retelling of the comedy written by Shakespeare. This didn't increase Beckinsale's net worth very much, but it gave her some experience in method acting. After matriculating from Godolphin and Latmere School in West London, winning prizes for fiction and poetry, Kate attended Oxford University studying French and Russian literature, which included some time in France, and this was the time when she started to play more likely major roles for the first time. Perhaps unsurprisingly, Kate dropped out of college to concentrate on what was becoming a lucrative acting career. And after much ado about nothing, she could be seen in Emma, Prince of Jutland, and Cold Comfort Farm. Furthermore, she was involved in several projects associated with productions on radio and made her stage debut as Nina in The Seagull at the Theatre Royal, Bath, followed by a couple more plays and a reading of Jane Austen's Emma for an audio production, all adding steadily to her net worth. In 1998, she moved to the U.S. with partner Michael Sheen and auditioned for roles in New York, appearing in The Last Days of Disco, then in a TV production through The Looking Glass as Alice, which confirmed her arrival on the U.S. acting scene. Beckinsale's further added to her wealth as well as her profile when she was cast in the action movie Pearl Harbor in 2001, followed by Serendipity. Subsequently, she was seen in such noted projects as Underworld Evolution, Van Hessling, and Contraband, directed by Baltasar Komarkar, so her net worth was certainly going up. Most recently, Kate appeared in The Only Living Boy in New York and now has appeared in over 40 films and several TV productions, as well as a number of stage plays, all of which critics comment that she looks and sounds very comfortable, certainly praise for her talent and versatility, after which she has helped her to continually raise her net worth. Concurrently, as a model, Kate also made a successful career which increased her net worth even more. She was the face of such brands as Lux Shampoo, Gap Denim, Absolute Vodka, Diet Coke, and many others. Talking about her personal life, Beckinsale was in a long-time relationship with the actor Michael Sheen. The couple met in 95, and soon after, they started to live together. Michael and Kate have one daughter, Lily Mo Sheen, who was born in 1999. However, the two didn't marry, even if Kate made the analogy with a book from a library. If you keep it long enough at your house, you start to feel this is your book. That's how she described her relationship with Michael Sheen. The couple broke up in 2002. During the filming of the movie Underworld, Kate started a relationship with Len Wiseman, the American screenwriter and film director who agreed to cast Beckinsale's ex-boyfriend in a new movie. After the filming was done, Kate married Len Wiseman, but the couple remained good friends with Sheen. Quite possibly, marriage to such a noted movie personality increased Kate Beckinsale's worth as an actress too, if it was needed. However, they divorced in 2016. Kate is certainly a philanthropist too, having supported the British Heart Foundation for many years following her father's demise. Other charities include Habitat for Humanity, Meta Cinema, and the Entertainment Industry Foundation.